Hello and welcome to Throwdown Thursdays. My name is David and today I'm joined by my good friend and fellow teammate Ashley. Hello. And today we are playing Camel Up. Camel Up is a racing betting game, more so betting than anything else, where players are betting on a camel of a certain colour to win the whole race. The game consists of several legs, could be one or more, and there are several actions that you can take. You can either roll the dice, which will advance a specific camel. There's f uh, five camels in different colours, and the same with the, the dice as well, the same five colours. You can also bet who is going to win the overall leg. A leg ends when all five dice are out on the board. Or you can bet for the overall loser of the game, or overall winner of the game, which is determined once, the, once one camel finishes the finish line. You can also spend an action to place one of your Mirage tokens on the board, which will advance the camels further or make a move backwards. So as you can see, James goes off and puts his Mirage token down. So if anyone lands on it, he'll get a coin for that and then the camel will move backwards. Uh, so Sam decides to go for a dice roll. So he takes one of the dice, to the dice tokens and he's having a little bit of trouble there. And then the green camel comes out. It's going to move two, so it will go on top. And he is in first place at the moment. So any camel that is at the bottom of the stack, when they stack up on top of each other, is obviously considered lower than the one on, one on top. Um, so actually, when you're playing the game, you don't really want to be the first person to roll the dice, do you? No. That's the last thing you want to do, really. Definitely not. But someone's got to do it, so eventually someone will just roll the dice. I mean, there are a couple of occasions where I'll try and roll the dice first, just to get things moving, because mm. uh, everyone's just laying their tiles down, Yeah. just to avoid making a move, because sometimes it's not obvious the moves out there that you want to do, and it is kind of uh, an escape using them, plus yeah. one, minus one tiles, just to avoid having a turn. Yeah, exactly, which is what you w really want to do. So yeah. At the moment, you can see the blue's going to be moving, and the yellow's going to be moving. The blue's on top at the moment, so he's first, so as long as he his comes out first, or second, he's going to be he's going to come first or second, basically, isn't he? Yeah. It's like, if he gets one, then he's going to bounce on the token, go back on first, and then when the yellow comes out, he's going to move on top. So he's always going to be first. So you've betted on the blue. I think Sam betted on the blue before it even moved yeah. uh, on top. So that was quite a good prediction from him. But you can't always predict that it's going to come, go that way. No, nah, definitely not. So you can see the yellow's come out. So he's going to move through, which is a bit... <laughs> the game's only just started and the camels are all, already nearly halfway through the board, <laughs> yeah. which is a bit crazy. Um as you can see on the left hand side everyone's got starts off with three coins um so every time you land on a mirage token you get coins as well so that was the end of one leg so as you can see everyone gets points there. actually you got three points because you bet on the blue camel yeah uh sam bet on the blue camel before you so he's actually gives you five points james also bet uh third so he gets two points for that one and second place was the white which sam also bet on so he gets one point for that but no one else bet on the white and then you get one point if you roll the dice that turn. You also lose money if you made the wrong bet. Ah, yes, you also lose money if you bet on the orange, green, or yellow this round. So we go into the second leg now. Again, like we just mentioned, no one wants to be the first to roll. So all three of you <laughs> yeah. who have gone have decided to place your tiles, so obviously James decides to just go in. It's like, I, prefer, I, I don't mind going first, because it gives you a coin as well. Yeah, of course. And then after that, you don't want to roll anymore. Yeah, you don't I don't want to be... get to near the end when it's a bit... It's not massively obvious who's going to come first in the race yeah but once you've made that when when you've made that roll you're like the third or fourth roll in mm. you've then guaranteed yeah. a camel to come first and yeah. that's when you feel like i really wish i didn't roll there yeah yeah exactly you can see the orange is gone and he's gone backwards sam's obviously getting some nice points from there exactly the same happened again the white's gone so the yellow could still make it. The yellow could jump on top of the um, white and then the orange could move on top of the blue and yeah. then the blue could move. So, you know, the, then the yellow or whichever, uh, so the, the white could, not the white, the uh, the orange could still be in front. Yeah. But you never know. But at this point, everyone's trying to egg the blue to go on. You've placed your token up here. So you probably maybe don't want the blue to win. Yeah, or... no, because everyone's pretty certain now that the blue's going to win this race. So I'm trying in my power to stop that from happening. Yeah. And uh, as you can see from my leg bet as well, even though yellow is at the back there, I'm kind of hoping that he wins this race. So. Yeah, which can still happen. Yeah. Then three comes out. So yeah. There goes one, two, two three. three on top. So he's 100% going to be first. Because even if the blue moves, the, cam the yellow is going to be on top. But the orange can still move. Yeah, the, the orange, orange can, can yeah, exactly. get first. And then the white will be first. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> who's going to be the person to roll, make that die 
Role. Yeah, that's it. That's the thing. But everyone's betting now. Everyone's going. White's going to guarantee to go first. Yeah, Look, no one Sam's, wants the role. Sam's doubled down on it. He's going to get seven points if he comes first. He's really confident. All right, let's see what happens here. This is going to be the one. It's going to be the decider. And then the blue comes out. So <laughs> White's definitely going nowhere. Yeah. So whose tile was that? Oh, it was James's tile that pushed it even further. So this could be a really short race. Yeah. So this is actually a really good round for you. What you got there? That's five because it's yellow's going to win. Yeah. You, it can't not win. There you go. So all three of those camels there got one. Yeah. And all three of them landed on uh, <laughs> Sam's style. Um, so you get eight points. It was random it's that you picked on the yellow. Yeah, yeah. You just it assumed was. that he would. hadn't moved yet, and it, it was just a. Sometimes you do just get a little feeling like this yellow's gonna. <laughs> he's gonna go. He's gonna go. And yeah, lucky for me, he did. So. And you roll three times as well. Yeah. So it's a nice eight points there. You're sitting on 15 points. You're winning at the, mo- at the moment, so it's looking good for you. So at this point, who do you think. Well, you can't really guarantee who's gonna win. No, nah, but it looked. Yeah, at the moment, it's either yellow or blue. If yellow moves first, he could win. Even if blue moves first, yellow could still win. Yeah, so, yeah exactly. Yeah, we're in a horrible state at the moment in this game. Mm, it's not too bad. As you can see, no one's even bet on a winner yet. Yeah, exactly. People bet on losers. I feel like it's something that you do quite late in the game. Yeah. At this point in the game, when everyone gets on this last bit of track, yeah. that's when people start betting. You know? I think I think even now, just looking at the, the game state, I'm looking at white, orange and green... And if blue and yellow finish now, then it's still hard to predict who's going to come last out of them three camels there. It's really, it's really hard at the moment. Mm. So Natalie goes in. Yeah, everyone everyone betting. was betting. What are, you probably bet on the yellow or the blue. Uh, I might have been a bit sneakier. Maybe bet on the blue. <laughs> or the green. <laughs> and to be fair, if they both get one, yeah. then they could still... You know, the other camels, if they get, they get three, you never really know. Yeah. There's always that possibility. You see everyone's betting on yellow. I've bet on blue. So more than likely, I've gone for blue as the overall winner. Yeah. Just exactly. hoping that the blue, the yellow will move one and the blue will move three. Yeah. But, we'll oh, see. <laughs> <tension. laughs> Struggling to get it over. Uh, oh, yeah. The blue goes over. Yeah. So, uh, so, so at least you get one point, though, for this race. So you get one. James didn't get anything that round. He, didn't, he wasn't able to bet on any yeah. anything for the leg. Uh, Sam gets a nice five points on there for predicting it. Yeah, right, it so a... now we have the uh, have the revealing. So we're going to do the initial loser first. So this is James, I believe. No, so that was that, that one was Natalie. So Natalie gets eight points for that for guessing it right. You didn't actually bet on the overall loser. In no, this. I didn't. No, I, I, it, to me it just wasn't. It was really hard to choose at that point because I know I know the game ended really quickly there, but. Like even still, I was just like, I'm not sure he's going to lose this race. Yeah. I didn't think it was going to end so quickly, so Only I just didn't three, get an opportunity. Three legs is pretty short, to be yeah. fair. All right, so we're going to do the winners now. And Natalie gets in first with the yellow. And Ashley, you bit on the blue. Yeah, a bit cheeky. Oh, you thought he was maybe going to yellow go first and then the blue afterwards. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a random dice game. Yeah. So, you know, I was just, I was just hoping that everyone... Everyone bet on yellow. If the blue won, then I'm laughing because I'm the first one to bet on blue. So yeah, exactly. Uh, it was just the way it was. Yeah. It was just unfortunate. Yeah. So if you don't get it right with the winner or the loser, you have to pay <clears throat> obviously a coin, which you yeah. do. Unfortunately, that puts you down uh, to 16 along with James, and then uh, Natalie gets 25, and James gets a nice 27 seven points. He actually only played this game twice, but I feel like he picked it up really quickly. Yeah, no, he played really quite well. Yeah. He played really well. I think he came second the first time we played. Yeah. We just mentioned. Just talking about it, the first game that we played of this before this recording, that was crazy. Oh my god, honestly, yeah, this game was, this second game was over like that because yeah. of what happened there with the yellow. Yeah. And they all was on top of each other and the yellow just like, boop, just moved it all. It was just, yeah. whoever, who laid the minus one down? That would have been Sam, wasn't it? Yeah. Already Sam's like, right, on my next turn, I'm, I'm betting on blue to win, to win this race. Yeah, exactly. And it was over, it was over. Yeah, it really was such a shame we didn't record that first yeah. one because my well, god, we that the... was horrid. Yeah, it was, you couldn't really predict who was coming first in that one. No. There's really, it, and it can be like that. Sometimes it's a little bit obvious like this. But yeah, overall it's a quite a fun betting game. Oh, it is really fun, yeah. I enjoy it. Yeah. Is there no, there's no real strategy when going in for it? Um, I think sometimes there can be a little bit of strategy, especially when you're not sure whether you want to roll or you just want to make a random bet because you don't want to be that person to roll. So sometimes there is a bit of strategy to it. You do find yourself sometimes maybe taking five minutes on a move mm. just to avoid, 
you you don't want to roll and then you're helping the next person make yeah. a e- really easy bet. Especially in bigger games as yeah. well, because if you're that person who rolls the second, the first or second or even the third dice, you got three or four or five people before you. They're going to take all the five points, the three points, yeah, and then you're it. left with picking up the twos. That's and it. even then you get it wrong and still have to spend minus one. But then you don't want to be the person who bets on, say, green, and then yeah, so the early. next person rolls the dice, and it's obvious green is not going to win this race anymore. And you feel like, wow, I just wasted a coin for nothing. Yeah, pretty much. So so, yeah. so maybe the uh, place in the Mirage token is quite useful. Yeah, I think it's very useful. Especially at the beginning. Yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you next time. Goodbye.